Hello, before we go into the weekly review, today I will go into far more details in two topics. Number one is how do I build my social media strategy? And number two is how do I measure social media? Because I get a lot of questions from a lot of people on how do I do this and how do I manage all of that? I will not go into the management because that's done by a virtual assistant and a couple of people who are helping me today at least. If you're interested, drop me a message or comment somewhere, then I can add it next week. But that's basically what we will go more into details today. Hello innovators and welcome back to another weekly review video where I look back on what happened last week on my mission to empower 1 million people to innovate. This week is the week review week number 20. But as promised, let's start straight away with how do I build my social media structure? So there are a lot of things behind the scenes, but I will give you just a, an overview of how I structure one week. So one week is built into, of course, seven days. I'm publishing on social media seven days throughout multiple platforms. Number one is everything. It starts with the why. So why do I do all of that? And everything what I do is based on that why. The next level is into daily themes. Every day I'm talking about specific topics and throughout that whole day, it's only that theme. The themes itself are based mainly on the how and what. So I'm building up a content structure that's always why, how and what. And that's helping the people who are engaging with me on social media to understand what I'm about and how they can learn with me. Then I'm curating different types of content. I have three different types of, of content. Number one is inspirational content. Number two is entertainment content. And number three is educational content. And that serves different people who are in different moods on all the different platforms. And then, of course, a very, very important key is it's all building on testing and learning over time. We'll go more into that in the end of the video when I look into how do I measure all of that. This is basically a screenshot of, of my Google Sheets table, which I'm using to manage all of the content and driving it forward. So next week, you will be seeing all of this. So I have the two cents, which is a new format, which I have tested, which it's happening on Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. Then I have a new picture post, which which is going into more explainer topics. Figures and facts is not built in yet. That's coming the week after. And then, of course, I'm using as well the same structure to move all of my podcast postings, which you most probably have seen. Adding the 30 seconds coaching part in, in the middle. And it, if you just see the, the black line in the middle is, is basically just a line which is outside of this screenshot because we're dividing who is doing what. So that's a bit behind the scenes in this case. So it's all built on that basic content structure. Next topic, we go into the podcast. Last week, I recorded four podcasts. Number one with Leanne Meyer, and we discussed gender equality and the impact of innovation. Number two was with Jeff Parks, and we talked about different experience design, different user experience design and innovation topics. So it was a little bit broader discussion, very interesting. Number three was with Ruhl van der Berg, where we talked about his wealth of knowledge and experience working with very, very large corporations on innovation topics, transformational topics, and more. The fourth podcast was the Reverse Mental Lab podcast, which is a separate podcast to the Jens Heidland show, which I have started a couple of weeks back with Joshua. We did the first interview podcast format in that one, and we interviewed Deborah Labush. Next up was the Stephen Brooks and Jens online course show, where Stephen Brooks and I work together and publicly share how we built an online course for his business. And last week we did two recordings. So we did two videos. Number one was how he is creating the funnel. And number two was on how he's creating a landing page for his funnel structure. Social media GPS. How do I measure social media? And for, for everyone, it's very, very important to focus on value. So number one for me is um, working with innovation, it's always about you, you need to measure things you can influence properly um, and understand it or measure things because you want to learn from it. That's very important because it's not about how many followers you really have. Of course, it is an indicator, but it's not really the key drivers, at least not the ones that I look at. 
So number one, focus on value, which for me is engagement and reach. So how many people do you engage and how many people do you reach? And how does that work in different platforms? And how do you measure that? So it's basically what I do is doing a daily review of all the statistics, put them into my Google Sheet structure so that I have um, an understanding of how the progress is working. How do different posts resonate with different people? And everyone who is following me for a while already, you see that my content is changing in different ways. Um, specifically, if you look back, sometimes it's tiny, tiny, tiny changes where I uh, change the color, where, I, where we change a thumbnail, where we change the, the words in, inside the text we're, we're posting. So there are a lot of changes and they're all based on numbers and feedback we got over the past periods. So it's very important to understand of what is working, what's not working. That's basically why I do all the measurements and why I highly recommend you if you are into content delivery and using social media for your brand, for your personal brand, understanding what works, what doesn't work. And I'm far away from where I want to be, but that's why I'm measuring and always taking one week goal, one daily goal and understand what do I want to move and what is resonating. Sometimes it as well takes a while for things to pick up because if you produce new content, it's not everyone is familiar with that. So people need a little bit time of adapting to that. So I will just share here um, a, a basic example of my screenshot as well. So it's just basically I'm measuring things per day, which give me an understanding of where do I stand in that platform. And then I take actions after that. That doesn't mean that I take actions every day. It's more about week by week by week. And sometimes we even look into three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, even two, three months, keeping the same structure to, to see if things pick up or not. And of course, there are tons of tools out there which help you to do that. We use a tool for posting, which is Content Studio, which allows us to plan and structure all our posts going out into all the different social medias. And they have as well an awesome tool, which helps you to understand the metrics and the KPIs. I still haven't found one that, that's giving me all what I want. That's why I'm still doing it the old school way inside a Google Sheet structure. So that's it with the social media GPS I'm using. If you're interesting and want to know more details, you can happily reach out to me. So I've just published my WhatsApp channel, which every one of you can text me towards. You find the number wherever you are in social media. So just text that number on WhatsApp only because it only works on WhatsApp. And you can ask me any questions you want. If you are interested in any topic I'm doing, if you're interested in any innovation things, happy to answer any question. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you're interested in getting more of what I'm doing, please follow me, comment wherever you see this video and let me know what you think about the topics I'm sharing. I'm eager to learn more. I'm eager to change because you are very important to me. See you next week.